Hello, welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can fix the binding on a buck. Now this particular buck I have here, as you can see, it has separated from the hardcover. Now this tutorial will also work on soft cover books and multiple different issues you have with the binding. This trick I'm going to show you here, and actually I'm going to show you two different ways on how to do this. Um, one of them is super easy and takes like not even a minute. The other one is quick to do, but then you just got to let the book sit for a few hours before you can use it. So I'll move the camera in to the workbench and we'll get started. See you there. Okay, I got the camera moved into the workbench here, and we got our book. Um, this is my book of North American birds, and I use this a lot. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you know I do a lot of photography, and I like doing wildlife photography, and in my camera bag I keep this book with me because sometimes you see a bird you've never seen before, especially during migration season. And I've used it so many times, the binding separated from the cover. Bummer. Now, you might also have a book where the binding split. And this uh, this will work uh, to repair that too. Um, the first tip I'm going to show you, maybe not as much as the second tip. And that's the one I recommend. The second tip I'm going to show you is... Um, the one I recommend you use, but this first one I'm going to show you, if you're in a bind and you don't have the stuff to do the second one, this will work. Um, it'll last a while. Um, eventually, if you use the book a lot, you're going to have to redo it. Otherwise, try uh, the second technique. But uh, for the first one, what we're going to need, yes, I'm sure you all know what this is, hot glue gun. Now you're thinking, why didn't I think of that? Well, <laughs> this works. Um, all you got to do is, I've got the binding separates. What you do is you line it up so when the book would close, everything's going to be lined up, and you want to make sure it's all lined up before use it. Now I don't have the hot glue gun plugged in because I'm going to be repairing this book with the second technique but um, I'll be able to show you and you'll understand um, without me having to put the hot glue on here. But um, once you got it lined up looks like I gotta move that just a smidge more. There we go. Yep, that's all lined up. What you do once your hot glue gun's warmed up just pull the trigger and quickly smear a bunch of hot glue, close the book, and then push on the bind. And do that for about 20, 30 seconds until the glue dries. Otherwise, you can also push down on it like that. You just want to make sure that the, the, the glue is contacting both edges and your book's fixed. Now, if you're not using this book all the time, that probably will fix it permanently. But um, when I'm out doing my photography, this book comes out two, three times a day. Um, I run into birds all the time. I've never seen it before. and Or I'm not sure is that this particular spare or a different one. So I grab my book and I can go through here and look them up. All right, now to technique number two, the one that I recommend out of the two. And you're not going to believe what I'm using. And it actually works. It's called shoe goo. This is for repairing shoes. Now, it's kind of like a rubber-like substance. So once it hardens up, it's almost the same texture and can consistency is the material they use for actually binding the books and it's you buy it at uh, like Walmart Target um, your pharmacy might carry it this is real popular and easy to find it's just called shoe goo 
and it's a glue and it's flexible and that's why it works so good so what you do is you open it up and I got a feeling I forgot to grab a pliers I'm probably you know I'm not gonna get it open after you've used it one or two times you need a pliers to open it again but I think you'll understand um, how to use this what you do is um, of course you open it up and then if it's the first time you open it up um, the tube sealed when you pull the cap off and that's why there's this little thing in the middle and you unscrew it turn it around and you push that in and it opens the tube and you can see it's still a good tube it's not hardened up in there and what you do is you just you don't want to put a ton but just squeeze and put a little bit in there oh we got a ladybug trying to visit us you don't need that on video but um you just put a little bit in there then take your finger smear it around get that all worked in if you got a little extra on your finger work a little in up here and then, like I said, we've already got the book lined up so that when we close it, and you don't have to be in a hurry, not like when you're using a hot glue gun because that dries pretty quick. This stuff takes a few hours before it cures, and then I would actually suggest wait 24 hours before you use the book after putting this on there. But, um, yeah, just put a little in there, smear it around with your finger, then close it up, take some tape. Now I just got like your office tape here. And let's see if we can get that in there. Tape the book shut. Now if you don't have uh, the clear tape, you can use painter's tape. And actually if you have frog tape, that's what I'd recommend because you don't want to use duct tape or some other tape that's going to be hard to get off and also leave a residue. And if you have frog tape, that painter's tape, use that. That'll work the best. Otherwise, um, a piece of masking tape, if you're only going to leave it on for 24 hours, it's not going to really leave any residue. And if you get a tiny bit, take a paper towel with just a smidgen of rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover and just quick wipe that off and then use a dry piece so that you're not soaking into the book. And that'll take care of any residue. But we're just taping it shut so it doesn't come open. Then you're going to want to put it like this and then pile a couple books on either side or just something that'll keep it upright like this so it's the weight of the book is down on the spine. You do that, leave it set um, overnight. Um, I would recommend 24 hours if you got it at least 10 hours if you wait 10 hours you could probably take it out of there and i still wouldn't open it but you could take it out of however you had it set up to hold it like this and you could lay it down but i would wait about 24 hours before you open it and try to use the book after 24 hours i do remember right after 24 hours this is fully cured yeah it says right here fully cured 24 hours says it sets in three to four hours okay so you wouldn't have to leave it 10 hours you just leave it three four hours like this then take it set it down and you could take your tape off if you want but i'd still leave that on there just so you don't accidentally open the book and uh that's all there is to it bam fixed book um i'm actually going to be doing this here in a few minutes uh sorry i forgot to grab a players to open this and don't want to shut all the video equipment off to go grab a grab a players but I'm pretty sure you understand how to do this I mean, it's not very hard like I said put a little bit in there smear it around and work it in everywhere and if you got a little extra in your finger work it up there close it tape it then prop it up so it's like this let it sit three four hours and if you can leave it sit the full 24 hours it probably give it a better chance of uh, sticking better 
And the nice thing about using the shoe goo, it's going to last longer because shoe goo is a flexible glue. It's kind of, I guess I'd compare it to like a similar to a rubber cement that you'd use for like fixing inner tubes and stuff like that. This is going to be the best way to fix the binding on a book because your binding that's in there is a flexible glue adhesive that was used. That's why, you know, you can open it and it flexes a little. And the shoe goo is the closest I've found unless you want to try and find some kind of binding repair glue. I'm sure they probably make something like that. Um, you look online, you might find it. Maybe you want to try that, but shoe goo works. Um, I actually, the reason I have this is because I use it on my shoes. Um, I do a lot of outdoor photography, wildlife photography, so I'm trudging around uh, woods and swamps all the time, and I can't afford to buy a new pair of boots every couple of months, and they start wearing a little, you put this on there, and it uh, makes them last longer. I swear by this stuff it is awesome all right well i hope you found this information useful if you did please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and uh you give this a try out um go ahead and leave a comment tell us um how you thought how it worked and with that we'll wrap this up thanks for joining us here at the z hut hope to see you here again you have a great day